Uh, something called Gink Google Inbox, <laughs> which this was announced, I think, last Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and I, I was very fortunate. I, our, our friend Roy, who works over at Google, is like, who needs an invite? I'm like, hi. I saw his post a little too late and I said, hey, can you throw me one? He's like, oh, I ran out a while ago. So, yeah, I, I saw the post like the, a day and a half later. Mm. And then that's what Facebook drives me nuts is because you it reorganizes all the posts. Well, then you got to be on the tweeters where everything's real time. Uh, Yes. Or it's not. (laughs) I know that's, that's one of my, that's one of my problems is even finding my, my feed gets too long. Mm -hmm. And I used to be in the habit of like in the morning and in the afternoon and I could, I'm just checking when I have time. I just check it when I have time. It's very chance, whatever I come across. Okay. So that's it. That's it. Um, but I have it. Let me f- first double check. There's nothing really important for me to show off here. Uh, this is the web version of it. So this is my email. And it's just taken my Gmail and put it in this form. Um, so it's it's automatically throwing stuff in a low priority. It's using some of my tags. Uh, purchases, for instance. So like if I go into purchases, uh, and you see it does it does thumbnails, right? Or especially like YouTube thumbnails that you see at the bottom of of Gmail's will come up. Um, So like, here's all my PayPal stuff. Here's my iTunes store purchases. I, I, I stat mini. That should be another awesome thing of the week. I'll I'll just leave that out there. It puts uh, your, um, your stats in the notification notification bar. I haven't, I, I, it's like tremendous. It's it's like a dollar 99 or something. It's like a dollar 99. I'm like, yep, we got it. Uh, you know, my doctor who's are in there. Some, some stuff with maps to, uh, the meet grief for pod camp, for instance. So it's, first of all, it's, it's thumbnailed everything that makes sense. Right. Um, now, if you're on the app for Android or iPhone, it, it, they release both of them simultaneously. Uh, for iPhone, this is the first time I got to use the iTunes preview. So like the beta app, the test drive, the test test drive flight. T- is it test flight? Test flight. Uh, but when, when you click the link, it, go, it looks like the app store, but it says up in, in the top iTunes preview. So, so, so this is the first thing I've seen and experienced that, that, that involves that kind of process. Um, but again, right off the bat, it, 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 let me see if I can pull up how it's, so you can go in here. If you're on the uh, phone, you can actually kind of swipe one way or another and and actually let me see let me see if it lets me swipe because i'm on a touch screen here with the windows computer so like here is loot crate if i okay it doesn't have the swipe function on here uh but i'd be able to swipe like i'll, I'll swipe to the right and that means i'm done with it and it'll go away right if i swipe to swipe to the other way it'll actually snooze it and bring it back up in the list mm-hmm. whenever i say later today I did read about tomorrow that. something like that so it's very it's a very easy way for you to drop in and go nope nope yep yep you know or oh, hey let's deal with that tomorrow so it kind of task lists your email it's a different way to look at your email uh so far i've been able to drop in there and it kind of i, I found emails that i missed the normal way in gmail it's like, oh, wow, this guy hit me two days ago. You know, I, I need to address that, you know, or something like that. Just because it gets pushed down from those views because I have priority inbox, mm-hmm. starred, and then the regular. If it gets pushed down that regular and I didn't get to it yet or I missed it because, like, I get so many emails, just not accessing my email from when I start the podcast on Tuesday at, like, 3 o'clock through to the night, oh. my email is ridiculous. I'm sure. And that's, like, the largest gap other than the weekend that I don't address my email. Um but this is a kind of a nice way to just jump in and to, maybe between shows, I'll pop in the app and kind of swipe away a few things I know are bad um, or jump in one of my tags because all my tags transfer over as well. So I have all those rules on top of their 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 purchases, their promotions. And I never turned on the promotions tab or anything in Gmail. So this is my first kind of look at that. So I have the promotions tab and I let it just kind of self-populate. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to see what Inbox does because I am a horrible, horrible mail mail user okay so i don't use tags i don't use filters any kind of filters you just have it all in there and i don't delete anything well i don't think that's a problem I, no here's so, the other so when you look at my phone and this like i know people that are ocd that like i think their heads are going to explode when you look at the mail icon on my device which you oh can't no see, oh no <laughs> There is 58,971 unread emails. Because the other thing I do is that if it's an email that's kind of like junk mail, like let's pick one. Um, 
do, 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 do. Somebody tagged me on Facebook. Okay, I can see by the subject who tagged me and that I was tagged on Facebook. I don't need to read that email, but I don't bother <laughs> deleting it either. <laughs> but you at least like, like you at least like market red, right? Nope. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. I at least I don't delete everything, but it's like I at least got to get that not red count down. Mm-hmm. Even though I know the stuff not red is most likely stuff I'm never going to get to and really wasn't important in the first place, but there's still a little bit of that. So, so one of the nice things about this, and I, I know like the first experience, like listen to like Leo Laporte talk about on this week at Google last week, he, you know, who he, he's notorious. He says, I'm horrible female. I have 20,000 on reds, you know, that kind of, you know, that kind of mm-hmm. thing. Right. He's like, I just swiped and I'm inbox zeroed for the day. You got a fresh start like that. That's awesome. You know, I can at least look at today. And get mm-hmm. rid of everything. There's nothing new being added to the pile. Now, I'm wondering what happens when you swipe. I'm not clear on that yet. I haven't done a one-to-one comparison. When I swipe this, is it just putting it on red? Is it throwing in trash? What's happening? Because some things I want to just kind of mark as red. But I still want to leave it in there. Does it go to like, isn't there an archive? I think I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it's not deleting. It's just marking it as red because I've gone back. So I'll go back in my regular Gmail. I'll go under like some of the bacon stuff, like the bacon for LinkedIn because, oh, my God, LinkedIn notifications. Um, and like half of them are red. And I'm like, OK, those are the ones I did in inbox. So I'm pretty sure they just go on red. And then I can delete them out whenever I do my my filter checking. So I'm I'm interested to see if this comes true. But a little birdie told me. And it seems like a relatively good source, and I'm not going to give up the source. But I'm hearing that we're going to get a revamped Gmail, and I'm wondering if this is the beginning. I don't think they. I don't think they need to just turn this on for everybody. I think that. Well, that's that's one of the things we were talking about during the show, right? And we were like, well, how do you do this or how do you do that? I really, I really feel like they look at the early adopters and they're like. Well, they'll figure so, it out and we'll so give them access. And they're this the- is the Google wave of email. And we're testing it out. And what you're probably going to see, I finally used it because it's an amalgam of this idea, this one idea that seems completely new with some of the old ideas, including the promotion tabs. And it's kind of meshed them together. But it's one of those, well, if we even drop this as a beta in the middle of Gmail that people can turn on, it is far, far too dr- drastic. But, but I'm wondering if they're waiting for us to all figure it out and we know how to use it real well. And then I will turn it on for everyone and then we'll just get the but questions. But do you really even need to? Because the, they already have it separate. I can go to inbox.google.com or I can go to gmail.com. It's the same email. But they're but not going to they're not going to keep up. They're not going to continue. Why would as a company, why would you continue to um, develop two different UIs? Because not every user is the same. I I don't know. I don't think I, I. It's not. It's not one solution to fit them all. So if I go to inbox.google.com, I just get inbox by Gmail. Get it on Google Play. Download it from the App Store. Are you activated on it yet? Have you gone into it? Um, not on the device. Okay. How do I actually? Yeah, I actually went to the phone first. Like the emails. Okay. I hit. I clicked the thing. Went. Got the device. I downloaded it. It like connected me when I logged in on the device, and then then it was like, oh, there's a web version too. Um, I actually do have my first impressions on this from like the less than 24 hours. Uh, I do that podcast. Good morning over at Sorgatron.com. Uh, beginning with some more techie things as things come out like this. And I think that's, I want to use that as a kind of a first impressions as things come out during the week. Um, so if you want to go check that out, Sorgatron.com. Actually, those were my first impressions. And probably the heaviest I used it was within that time. Uh, and that was before right after that I discovered uh, the web version. So it was basically just the iPhone version. And I discovered how to get it on my uh, Android as well because I couldn't find the invite again to go find the download. Uh, but it's just in the store and it let me in with my account because it saw that I'm logged in as a inbox beta tester. So um, so there you go. There you go. Uh, let us know if you got inbox. I'm sure everybody wants an invite. I don't have any. Chilla should have three now. Uh, <laughs> once I log in, <laughs> once he logs in, so go bug him. I won't tell you the other people I invited because I'm not going to do that to them. But you can probably guess. You can probably guess um, if you're listening to this show. So, uh, but yeah. So there's that Google inbox. Uh, what else we? Got?